What's going on guys, it's Rated here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new video and what I'm going to be going over in this video is all of the zombies leaks for Call of Duty World War 2. Now I'm not going to be showing any in this video purely because I do not want to be taken down but I'm going to be discussing a few things. Just before we get into the video, if you guys do not want to hear any of the information about World War 2 zombies or even any leaks at all, definitely click off the video. I'm warning you guys in advance but just before we do begin, definitely leave a like down below. Let's try and shoot for something well over 200 likes on this video. Also leave a comment down below what you're most excited for because personally I've just seen some gameplay for the headquarters mode and I'm super hyped. It looks insane. The video ideas are literally exploding in my head right now. I'm going to be posting you guys a ton of videos here on the channel. Make sure you guys do not miss out. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and also turn on notifications. And with that said, let's begin with the video. Now the two things we know for Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies right now is the fact there's actually two maps by default. One of them is a slightly larger map with an easter egg. One of them is a slightly smaller map. We did see something similar back in, I do believe, Black Ops 2 where we had Nuketown as a DLC map and also the original map which was slightly bigger. Now, in my opinion, this is a great idea. Now, the Zombies doesn't look as good as we used to, like Treyarch, but the sequel of Zombies from Advanced Warfare has carried over into Sledgehammer's game. Sledgehammer games have done an insane job this year. By far, they have taken us by surprise and they have provided us with the best things we could possibly think of. Now, like I did say, the links for the gameplay or whatever will be down in the description below. If for some reason it isn't down below in the description, hit me up on Twitter at the Rated Live, and you guys can go ahead and follow me over there because I'm going to be discussing a few video ideas and a few other things that you guys might want to be interested in. For example, double XP codes, I'm giving them away over on my Twitter page. So make sure you go ahead, follow me over on Twitter by clicking the link down in the description below. It also helps you guys be notified when I post a video because I always tweet out my videos in advance and allows you guys to get a shout out for the next video now not only have i seen just the two maps i've also seen all of the perks and perk locations so expect on day one that i'm going to be posting perk locations for you guys the perks are slightly different but they have the same concept of quick revive jog sight of hand and a few other perks but they're not exactly the same name and they don't have the same icon as we had seen in Treyarch's game because this is a different game producer this is sledgehammer games and this is not what we're used to now I have also seen the Wonder Weapon, now I'll tell you guys right now, the Wonder Weapon looks like the Slick will fire, but it does not act the same. The Wonder Weapon is pretty insane, it's pretty overpowered and is by far going to be my best weapon to use for training the zombies up and getting a higher round strategy uploaded here on the channel. Not only that, the Pack-a-Punch camo it looks insane, it does look by far the best one that we had seen in a couple years. Even though Black Ops 3 Pack-a-Punch camos were pretty cool, this one's even cooler in my opinion. You guys definitely want to go ahead and take a look at that, so like I did say, all of it will be down in the description below or over on Twitter if you guys want to see that. Now just going off topic here, not really about zombies, but headquarters mode looks insane. The way they've animated supply drops now is just in, it's just mind blowing because what they've done is animated it so it falls from the sky. You were shown with three little supply drop icons and then you can unlock the supply drops. Not only that, but there is a way actually how to access zombies through the headquarters mode. It's by far the most insane thing I've seen and I definitely want you guys to go ahead and check it out. If you are hyped for the game, definitely let me know down in the comment section below and also slap a like on the video. And not only that, if you guys want to go ahead and get the game early, then go ahead and check my previous video. And of course, if you want unlimited double XP on release date, also check my previous video. I did double upload yesterday. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a double upload today, but there will be probably tomorrow. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Now a huge shout out goes to this guy in my previous video, he was first on the video. Now whoever's first on this video is going to get a shout out as well, that's something I've been doing for the past few days and of course make sure you guys turn on notifications so you are going to be first on the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, like I did say I can't really cover too much about leaked zombies, I will just provide the links down in the description below. As I don't want to get a strike from Activision, I did previously get one for showing you guys leaked info and I'm risking it again but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.